Depreciation is a term that is heard a lot in reference to automobiles. Ever heard the common thought that a vehicle depreciates in value as soon as you drive it off the lot? That is not accounting depreciation. Depreciation in the accounting world has nothing to do with the value of an asset. It has everything to do with the cost of the asset. Depreciation is a cost allocation method. When we purchase an asset, like a vehicle, we take all the cost of the asset and include it in an asset account, vehicles in this example. As we use the asset, we want to record that use and allocate the cost to an expense account. We've done the same for other assets. Think about supplies. As you use them, you decrease the supplies account and increase supplies expense. Supplies are easy to see use. You physically use them and they're gone. The use of property, plant, and equipment is not quite as easy to see. When we use something like a piece of equipment, the equipment doesn't start disappearing as you use it. If you've used up half of that piece of equipment, it is still all there. Half of it isn't gone. However, we want to record that we have used half of it. We use depreciation to record that use. There are several depreciation methods that can be used. Straight line depreciation evenly distributes the cost over the useful life of the asset. Each year has the same amount of depreciation. Declining balance depreciation takes the most depreciation in the beginning years and then tapers off. Activity-based depreciation uses activity to calculate depreciation. If the asset is used more, more is depreciated that year. Tax depreciation is the method used for tax reporting purposes. To calculate depreciation, we need to know three amounts, the cost of the asset, the useful life of the asset, and the salvage value of the asset. We've discussed what's included in the cost of assets. The useful life is the estimated life of the asset. This, however, does not mean that the asset cannot be used or kept beyond this time frame. The salvage value, also called residual value, is an estimate of the asset's value at the end of its useful life. As this can be difficult to estimate, it's common to see a salvage value of zero. Once we've determined the depreciation amount using one of the available depreciation methods, we would record the depreciation by debiting depreciation expense and crediting accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation is an asset, but it's a contra asset. Therefore, it is increased by a credit and has a normal balance of a credit. Why do we use accumulated depreciation instead of decreasing the asset account? Again, unlike supplies, PP&E doesn't physically go away with use. We are allocating the cost over the asset's useful life. As we use the asset, it is still there. If we decrease the asset account, vehicles for instance, then that would appear as if we had gotten rid of the vehicle. We did not. We just want to show use of the vehicle and how much of the cost we have now allocated to expense. Therefore, we use the accumulated depreciation account. This also lets us keep up with something called book value. Book value is the difference between the asset's cost and its balance in accumulated depreciation, or cost minus accumulated depreciation. This does not have anything to do with the asset's value though. If a piece of equipment costs $50,000, and the balance in the accumulated depreciation account is $42,000, the book value is $8,000. This does not mean the equipment is worth or is valued at $8,000. This simply means $8,000 of the cost of that equipment has not yet been depreciated. There is one PP&E asset that is never depreciated. What? That's a word you don't hear often, right? But it's true. Any guesses? Which PP&E asset is not depreciated? Let's reveal the answer and see if you got it. It is land. Did you get it right? Land does not wear out like other assets, so we don't depreciate it. Depreciation only applies to property, plant, and equipment. That doesn't mean other long-lived assets do not allocate their costs over time. 
natural resources are depleted. Intangible assets are amortized. All long-lived assets go through the same process of cost allocation, but each type calls it something a little bit different.